Hi guys, welcome to 5 Clothing Tips All Reborn Mummies and Daddies Should Know. I have spent some time with these two kitties putting this together for you. I hope you enjoy it. You might know some of them, you might not. Let's get straight into it. So the first one is how to put on tops and onesies in a more appropriate way. For many years now I've been putting them over the top of my baby's heads and down. That is the way that I always thought it was meant to be. But there's actually a sneaky thing about some of the way that clothing is put together that we're actually meant to do it from the bottom up. So here I am doing it the old way and you can see that I pulled Suey's hair. This is damaging over time and because we put so much energy and love into putting this hair into the doll's head, the last thing I want to be doing is ripping out her beautiful hair. So the best way to do this is actually by either undoing the snaps, the buttons or the having the loopy um, onesies that I will show at the end of this clip go up over the legs and over the body that way. Not only are you not damaging the hair, but these tops are designed to be wider at the neck so they can climb up the body. This is designed for normal babies because we don't want to put spit or anything like that through the hair when you're taking off clothes in case they've had a blow up. So this is the reason why many people put their clothes on this way and as you can see it was a lot easier on Suey. None of her hair got ruined and she looks super super cute. So this is the right way to be doing it and I hope this helps you. As I'm showing you right now here is ones with snaps on my onesies. I do exactly the same thing. I don't even undo the onesie except for around the neck and slide it up the body. And here is the loopy ones. I don't know what that's called. But um, yeah so that's tip number one. Tip two is the bobby pin trick. So you've got a baggy top on your baby. You can see half of its cloth body or the top underneath. This doesn't look flattering in the slightest. I absolutely love this on Suey, but it doesn't fit her around the neck. She is very thin around there and this top is set to be wide. So the best thing you can do so you can hide both the front and the back as much as you can is to take a bobby pin. So turn your fabric over as much as you can or as much as you'd like to and insert a bobby pin. Here I am showing you the bobby pin. It didn't really want to focus on the camera until now. <laughs> but um, then just insert that into your um, clothing and the great thing is you can hide it. As you can see here, you can't even see the bobby pin, so that's really great. And then when you flip the baby around, it should be fitting nicely in the front now. The fabric's been pulled to the back, and it's a really quick fix. You don't have to worry about sewing anything up, and you know it's going to fit the baby overall. And you can go ahead and take those really, really cute photos. I love this trick. Doesn't Nico look absolutely fabulous here? So, dark clothes. They are a touchy subject for me because I don't normally buy them, but there are so many cute things that are dark. So there's jeans that are dark, there are navy stuff, like navy is hugely in at the moment. And then there's just dark colours like dark grey and stuff. And I don't want to miss out on having that on my Reborn. But if you know anything about Reborns, they are porous. The vinyl that we use to create Reborns are a porous subject and they can soak up dyes from the clothing especially if they are dark. So this is not going to happen in 2.5 seconds of having the clothing on so you don't have to freak out. But if you want to protect your baby for longer than say a photo shoot or you're going to leave them in it for a few days, I would highly suggest you go out and buy some tights, some leggings, anything that's going to fit underneath your clothing that you want to choose and be discreet about it. So here I am putting on some beautiful pink um, tights on Nico. They don't really fit him, but that's not the problem that we're going to be worrying about because you're not even going to know they're there. So he's got them over his legs to protect him from those pants, and then I'm going to put a onesie on underneath. It doesn't matter what colour as long as it's not a dark colour, and you are good to go. So here we are. He is all nicely protected, and then I can chuck on those clothes that I had before and leave him in them for a whole week and not even have to worry. Would I really do this? Probably not, but I definitely do this all the time when I plan on leaving dark clothes on my babies and I don't have time to take them back out or I want to leave them in it for a few days. It's not going to harm them in any way. They're going to still look amazing in their cute little clothes because that's what we have rebounds for as well. The amazing cute outfits that we can put them in. And I actually love Nico in greys and stuff, so having this option is a godsend. And especially with dark wool that I use. He looks really good in dark wool, but again, I wouldn't leave him without protection for more than half an hour in these clothes. I know he's not going to get stained, but I'm hugely paranoid. And because he had those tights on, you can either hide them with socks afterwards, or you can put some shoes on like I am doing here. 
So I hope this helps you. This is one of my favourite tips. I've been doing this for years and I know Sylvia does this as well. I've seen it on her um, Facebook and her Instagram. She shows some photos that she protects her babies like this as well. So definitely do it if you are paranoid like me or you just don't want to ruin your expensive, expensive baby. High traffic zones are hugely important to reborns because a lot of us change our babies more than once a month. So um, the more we change them, the more areas they are more susceptible to losing paint or rubbing as we call it. So areas like the feet, the hands, the knees, elbows, anything that's sticking out in an odd manner when we're putting clothes on is going to get rubbed. And fingers like Nico's hand, the pointy up finger, and, and the other one on his um his left hand, the pointy finger that's bent down, they are going to rub if you try to put on tight clothing. But there is a way to get around some of this. It's not going to stop it completely, but if you put mittens on and socks on when you're changing these babies, I can guarantee that the rubbing is going to decrease. So I can't say that it's not going to stop over time. I mean, clothing that we put on babies is always going to be straight, and when we're putting it onto their curved bodies, it's going to fill in the gaps. But if you're putting on clothing that is very form-fitting all the time, you're going to have rubbing no matter what. The great thing is about the middens is that once you've put the clothing on, you can just gently pull them off. They're not going to rub anything off. And um, again, the socks, you can chuck them on first, if you like and then take them back off once you've got your pants on so they just make it super easy you don't have to worry about grabbing bits of vinyl in the way just grab the mitten or the sock and you'll be good as gold and honestly I've noticed this helps so so much it stops the rubbing completely in some cases in some areas and in other areas it definitely decreases it so it's an all-round favorite of mine also, when I'm just having my babies out and I'm not doing anything with them, I try to keep socks and mittens on them at all times just because those are the areas that are very high traffic zones and the most likely to lose the paint first if you are not careful with them. And finally, the last one is the quick body fix. It's not so much a clothing thing, but it helps clothing fit better. Most of our babies slump over time, all the weighting goes to their bottom, and a really cool trick is to tip them upside down. Literally, that is the trick, that is all you have to do. So the weighting in him is at the bottom, as you can see, and all you need to do is grab him, hold his head, and tip him upside down. Like, yep, it's just that easy. Give him a good shake and make sure that you can feel the sack moving around. This is not going to hold it over all time. You probably will have to repack him at some point, but this will definitely move that weight back up and make him more proportioned in any way. So as you can see, Nico is looking a lot better and he isn't any worse for wear from being shaped upside down. So I really love this trick. I think it works superb. And um, that's why I did so many thumbs up just then. I hope you've enjoyed this video with Nico and Sui and all these little tips. Let me know what one is your favorite below. <laughs> and I will be back with hopefully some new videos very, very soon. Bye, everyone.